Hi, it's Mark here, and I have been going through this sort of time of year. It's a bit quiet outside. It's a bit, well, it's minus four this morning when I you know, got the ice off the car. Um, so I sort of tend to spend a little bit of this time getting prepared for the season ahead. We you know it's another a few months away now. Um, we're only in January, so um, looking at you know, March, April time to sort of get everything going. But this is a time where to actually do your work, um, do the preparation so that when the season does start, you're ready to go. You're on the front foot, um, ready to play some nice golf. So one of the things I do, I've got quite a big library of golf books. If you've ever been to my studio, you'll see there's, there's hundreds of them everywhere. Um, one of the ones I just pulled out recently and just had a bit of a reread over the last week or so is an old book by Arnold Palmer. This was actually published in 1963, so it's actually even older than I am. Um, and brilliant book because it's there's some sort of little hidden gems in there that you know really uh, as as applicable now as they were when they were written back then. A um, couple of the things I want to share with you of where he sort of talks about sort of strategy and thinking to help help us play our best golf. And he talks about the importance and significance of the first three holes, which a lot of people struggle with, and also the last three holes. Now. I'll give you my take on it from sort of rereading this this uh, recently. So first three holes, they are they, I think they're pretty important to sort of set the game up because you know it does give you some momentum and you don't want to be chasing your tail in terms of score uh, early on, and you want to feel like you're you know you're you're taking the golf course on right the way from the from the get go. So in order to do that, there's a couple of things you want to really try to at least make sure you do to give yourself your best chance. So firstly, you know, give yourself plenty of time to get to the course. You don't want to feel like you're rushing at any stage and you definitely want to have a, a proper warm up. Now, the top tour pros take an hour, an hour and a quarter of sort of range and a short game area time after they've done the physio and the, you know, warmed up in the gym as well. Um, I appreciate that for most people it's not going to be um, applicable and, and I certainly I tend to not have that much time. So you want to try to sort of prioritise what's important. So in the first three holes, you really want to try and do, do a couple of things. One is you want to be loose and ready to go on the first tee, so have had some, some full swings. Uh, and secondly, you definitely want to warm up your short game. Um, you know, statistically, we're going to miss more greens early on than we are sort of maybe in the midsection or later on in the, in the game because we're just getting started. We don't know the conditions of the course. We don't know, you know how the wind is going to affect the, or the temperature is going to affect the golf ball, how firm the greens are, how soft the greens are, and how you know how we can get the ball to stop. So, in order to give ourselves again most chance, if we're going to miss the greens more likely early on, at least have warmed that bit up. At least have done some pitching and some chipping, so a few bunker shots and some putting at the bare minimum. Ideally, leave yourself enough time. Do that at the beginning. Get yourself sort of warmed up gently. Go and do some swing work. You know, just get yourself just loosened up, and then you know at the end, dial the putting back in just before you go off and play. So when you've got a three or four footer on the first hole, uh, maybe for birdie, maybe for par, um, you can feel confident you can make a good stroke on it. He also talks about the last three holes, which is an area, again, I hear so often when I'm sort of doing some mindset work with, with players as they tend to sort of struggle with. And really it comes down to sort of two, there's two main things that I think you can break it down to. One is um, just the physical condition going into those last three holes. You know, are you hydrated correctly? Are you fueled up co correctly? Um, even tour players get caught out with this. I was working with a player uh, recently and he had a you know, couple of tournaments where he sort of dipped around about the 13th, 14th hole and we worked out, you know, it really was down to nutrition and hydration. So fix that and, you know, the performances uh, improve for the later part of the season. So um, really important you can just make sure you keep on top of that. The second thing really is concentration and bringing it back to and making sure you go back to the process of the working on the, the most important shot in golf, which is the next one. Ben Hogan said that, not me. Um, and, and really sort of dialing into what, what's important now, you know, what's the next thing you need to do in order to get the ball into a, the, the best position to give yourself the best chance of holding, you know, holding the putt if you're playing a, an iron shot into the green. Because it's really easy also to start looking at the scorecard look at what's 
happening over the next three or four holes and trying to sort of almost go, oh, well, if I do this and do this and do this, I'll, I'll shoot this score. And you come out of that present moment. And the, the, the real critical thing is you really do have to focus on you know, what's important now, what's the next shot you've done, and stay in that present moment. It's an old cliche, everyone sort of talks about it a lot, but it really is just a decision. You know, being aware of where your thinking is, and especially on those last three, maybe you write it on the scorecard, you put in, right, time to focus, and you, and you then go, right, okay, take a moment, take a breath, think about what that next shot is, and just bring that awareness back to what's happening right now. So um, uh, give that a try. So first three holes, warm up correctly, give yourself a chance. Last three holes, dial your focus in, make sure you're hydrated, make sure your nutrition's good, and um, look forward to hearing the results that you get. Cheers. <laughs>